Okay, so, um, this is really weird. This copy of Windows XP that I'm using, which is right here, was downloaded from, um, YouTube. Well, not directly from YouTube, but the download link was located on YouTube. And the link was from Mega Upload. And this is a pirated version of Windows XP. Like, this is Service Pack 3. And it's a copied version. It's not a legal copy. All of my software that's right by the clock up there um, is pirated. There's only two operating systems in this room that aren't pirated, which is the Windows 98 First Edition and the Windows XP uh, Service Pack 2, which I got for free. That one's a legal copy. But I don't have um, the key to activate it, though. Like, the key's supposed to be on the package, but... Well, apparently the key's missing. I don't know what happened to it. So I cannot activate my Windows XP without the key. So basically, that copy is useless to me, or if I find a cop, uh, or if I find a key on the internet. But besides all that, this is very, very weird. This copy of Windows is not genuine. It's not activated, as you can see. Here, I'm going to go into my system tools and system information. It doesn't say anything about activating. So if people ask me a question, is this activated? Well, I go here, all programs, accessories, system tools, and there should be a thing that says activate Windows. I click it, and it says it's already activated. Well, on this copy of Windows I have, it does not have the acti activate Windows button. And it does not say anything about it being genuine. I'm looking on the system summary list. OS name, Microsoft Windows XP Professional. Version 5.1.2600. Uh, Service Pack 3, build 2600. OS manufacturer, Microsoft Corporation. Computer name, computer underscore one. Inteller, which is... Pentium 3. It says nothing about it being um, uh, genuine. If I go to software environment, system drivers, uh, OL e registration, nothing there. So this is weird. Heck, I'll even, um... Uh oh why is this thing slowing down now? It just froze right there. Oh, oh, okay. I shouldn't push this thing so hard. Okay, so this is genuine Microsoft software, so you go onto the internet, and you type in Windows XP Genuine Check, and then a link to Microsoft.com pops up, here, let me turn the brightness down on my monitor. It's so friggin' bright. How the hell do you use this? Fuck. Okay, exit that. So, right there it says Genuine Microsoft Software. www.microsoft.com Genuine, so I'm gonna use the magnifier tool. That's what I like about XP, because you get to use the magnifier. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, I just exited the program. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize that. Uh, it's not easy doing this. Especially when you don't got a friggin' mouse pad with you. Okay, so you see here. Now I'm gonna scroll down. 
Microsoft, I mean Genuine Microsoft Software. I click that. Now it says Genuine Microsoft Software and has the little stupid star. And then over here it says Validate Windows or Office. So I press Validate Windows. It says Validation in Progress. Jeez, that thing is so bloody slow. I don't know how, I don't know if this thing can handle YouTube videos, but better. And guess what? It says validation complete. Thank you for completing the validation process and for using genuine Microsoft software. By using genuine Microsoft software, you can be confident that you can that you will have access to the latest features security and support which will help to improve your productivity and expand the compatibilities of your computer you will also have access to new innovations and offerings available only to genuine Microsoft software customers heck I'm not even a customer I just downloaded this thing I didn't even go to a store and pay for this and it's telling me that my validation is complete and it's also telling me that I'm using genuine Microsoft software I am actually using a pirated uh, I'm using pirated software here so you know what this means folks that I can download every single update that Windows or I mean that Microsoft has to offer I can download Windows Media Player 11 I can download other genuine software programs on this thing and it if I hit the validate button it will definitely work so let's see time to uh, test this out I'm going to download Windows Media Player 12 although this computer is incompatible with Media Player 12 so I'm going to hit continue validation required since it did say it was genuine software which it is not but we're going to find out now and Please click download files below for the software. And there you go. Right there. And access the magnifier. Okay. Minimize this. And there we are. It says I can download them. Weird. It's never happened before, but that's really weird. I get free genuine um, software and stuff. Heck, I don't even need the activation or the crack, like the the activator or the genuine patch. I don't need any of that when I like have this. Like this operating system is the best. I gotta make copies of these just in case if this one ever breaks, because it has quite a lot of scratches on it, and I'm not really that good at taking care of discs that well and not really good at taking care of cases because I end up losing them so I gotta make copies of these because it's hard to find this one now like I found this copy a long time ago and all thanks to my very expensive $56 um, wireless stick I'm able to download all the updates so that way I can give it a test right muffin I tried downloading updates on my laptop when I installed XP, but unfortunately, my wireless uh, network adapter wasn't working with XP. Until this thing came along, it's working. You know, like, if I'm using wireless or non-wireless, I would still be able to download everything. 
So, thumbs up for VCAM Now's computer room. And a free computer. And another one.